The Fourth Amendment is supposed to protect us from unlawful searches and seizures by government and police officers. As a former police officer myself, I've done my fair share of searches of vehicles based on the probable cause that I discovered on the stop. Many of those searches were consensual searches. We even had a form that the person would sign granting us permission to search the vehicle. And nine times out of 10, we would find something in there. Absent of that consent, we would have never been able to search the vehicle and find anything to charge them with. You will never find a police officer that will have permission to search my vehicle. There is not one attorney that will advise you to let a police officer search your vehicle, even to get out of a citation. With the amount of videos that are being shown of officers planting drugs, it's best to not let anybody in your car. They could find something that a passenger inadvertently or accidentally left in the car and it would be on your hands. The Louisville Police Department has a history of unlawful searches, payouts, and lawsuits, but this one tops the cake. The common denominator in many of these cases is minorities, and the police departments generally don't care. They have insurance for this. It comes out of that and no one is held accountable personally. In the case that you're about to see here, there should be criminal charges filed against this man. Let me thank you. Bring her back here, okay? This is one time it, it's best to bring her back here okay. because of the traffic on Greenwood, okay? The officer you see here is Officer Tyler Gelnet. I've reached out to the Louisville Police Department and they have no record of this officer working there any longer. You don't care about checking your ID, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on. Stop, Jesus. stop. Time, time out, time out. Go back there. Go back there. So Ma'am, do you have anything on you? No. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Just hang tight right here, okay? Can I just shut my the yeah, door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can shut the door and let. He's is that your daughter? Uh, uh, he's training. He's new. He's training. He's, training. He's, yeah, he's supposed to call a woman to, to really actually pay Actually, the game. it's <laughs> with, with male officers, it's supposed to be the back of the hand. Yeah. Louisville Police Department has over 1,000 officers. They have female officers available. Ma'am, can you turn around? I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. just the way he, he did. He's, he, he's, he's a new officer. I'm training he, him. Put his, I'm not, I, that's his that's, fingers. That's why. I'm sorry. I thought of only no, a no, female. No, no, no. I don't have anything on me. But only a female officer. Is Ma males can search females, but we are we are supposed to use the back of our hands. That's a violation, right? So sir. that's why, as soon as I saw him, I stopped him, told him to go to the back of the car. Okay. Okay. It's all being recorded. I want to let you know that. I want to reassure you of that. Okay. The woman did file a lawsuit. The city settled for fifty thousand dollars for this incident. All right. I know she's probably a little worried. If you want to let her know everything's okay, all right. all right? You can. All right. Now, I need to check and just make sure that there's no marijuana in the car. I understand. He already told me that y'all smoked earlier, okay? I want to reassure you. Once we do that, you'll be on your way, okay? Yes, sir. Okay? Now, I do not know the outcome of the search because the body camera was shut off prematurely. But if this woman had any contraband or any type of narcotics in her car, I hope that they can do an appeal. If Officer Tyler Gelnet had any part of the search, I want to leave you with this headline that happened just about a year later. 